In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys the exact portion control meal plan I ate to lose 50 pounds in three months. <laughs> weight I was 275 pounds. I knew I needed to lose weight but I wasn't sure where to start. I had tried for years trying to lose weight with things that weren't sustainable like fad diets, taking away food groups and none of that worked. So I thought okay I've got to do something that I can stick to and then I thought what if I eat what I like but I portion it out using the serving sizes on the backs of packages and so that's what I did and doing that really helped me lose 50 pounds in three months combined with moving my body because I had so much weight to lose and I could stick to it because I love the food. So I'm going to share with you the exact portions that I ate because I get asked all the time, how do you know how many portions? Well, every body is different, but I'm going to show you the portions that I used and that I ate and that worked for me. I started at 275 pounds. I was a size 24 pants. And my height is 5'4", because I get asked that all the time. And now, I am 141 pounds, a size 4, and as far as I know, I'm still 5'4". <laughs> Hey, my Nana shrunk when she was 80. You never know, I could be shorter. Eventually, I went on to lose 130 pounds by eating like this, but the first 50 pounds came off fast. So, one of my go-to breakfasts, was this. It was half a cup of oatmeal and I used the Great Value Quick Oats or One Minute Oats and I put it in a big bowl like this because when I mixed it with a cup of water it actually really doubles and triples in size when you cook it in the microwave so it's a huge portion and then to make keep me even more full I added a tablespoon of peanut butter. I loved peanut butter. I didn't want to give it up so I just measured it out and peanut butter and oatmeal, I put a pinch of cinnamon in there. Wow, tasty and filling. And then I would add half a cup of fruit. This is half a cup of frozen strawberries. And when I cook the strawberries in, I just throw it in with the oats in the microwave and the peanut butter. It's like peanut butter and jam kind of. And then it lasts forever and it's a balanced meal. So why I'm showing the exact like portions, the measuring cups, is because I was eating so much, so willy-nilly. I was just throwing things on a plate and eating plates and plates of things and bowls and eating out of the bag. I did not realize what the size of a portion actually looked like. And also, a lot of people will say, well, aren't you hungry when you go to portion control? It's actually pretty decent sizes that you get. So it's not that scary. And that's another reason why I wanted to show the exact portions. And when you choose foods too, like oats that expand in size when you cook them, that makes the portion sizes bigger without adding extra calories. So it was shocking the size of a portion, but also surprisingly filling when you choose the right foods. So the snack, <laughs> we're out of apples, okay? And I know Sassy's <laughs> gonna make fun of me, so I put a stand in. But I used to eat a whole apple sliced up, usually green, because they're my favorite, and then a quarter cup of peanuts. Nuts are really good for you, and peanuts were a favorite. So we used peanuts in the beginning, and a quarter cup was a portion size that we used. So that was one of my favorite snacks. The fiber in the apple, the fat in the peanuts kept me full for hours. And it is good, like there's healthy fats in the nuts, but you do gotta watch because they're so calorie dense that like if you're grabbing handfuls, it can be three, four, 500 calories, but you do actually get a good size as you see for a quarter cup. Yeah, and before I would be eating the nuts from the bag, so portioning it out allowed me to still eat what I loved, but just not add so many calories. This is one of my favorite lunches, it still is, a tuna sandwich with veggies. So I would have half a can of tuna, and that was cool because it would last me two days. We always get the chunk light, the skipjack in water, not oil, always the one in water. And I would drain it and mix it with a tablespoon of calorie wise mayo. So this is the calorie wise miracle whip and a tablespoon of that. And then I would put it on two 
slices of whole wheat or whole grain bread. This one is the Great Value Whole Wheat Bread from Walmart. And then about a cup and a half of veggie sticks. My favorite are carrots, baby carrots and celery. And then I would use a light ranch or a regular ranch, didn't really matter, a tablespoon of that to dip my veggies in. I also sometimes got like the light actual veggie dip as well. As long as I measured out a tablespoon, it didn't really matter. And then my dinner, I loved pizza and I did not want to give up pizza. And also sassy Kyle behind the camera, my husband, he's also lost 130 pounds, kept it off for the same amount of time. And he also lost 50 pounds in three months using portion control. So pizza was our favorite and this was our dinner. We would make a pizza using a pita because it was a lot less calories than pizza dough. So we would take one of these whole wheat tortillas and we put on pasta sauce because it's cheaper two tablespoons of pasta sauce, and then we would put some lean protein, sometimes some veggies if we wanted, whatever veggies we wanted. The lean proteins that we used are lean ham slices or turkey slices, and then this is lean ground beef. We like to cook it up ahead of time so that there was no excuse to not have dinner ready. And I put two ounces of lean ground beef on my pizza or two ounces of lean protein and we would weigh it out with a scale. This one is a digital scale, it's perfect portions, and we got it a long time ago at Bed Bath & Beyond, but you can get them anywhere. So this one measures in ounces and grams, and I really like that because it allows me to weigh out things like cheese or things in ounces like meat. And then I would put, a serving of cheese is about 30 grams, so this is regular cheddar cheese, and I would just shred 30 grams and I weigh it out on the scale and then I top the pizza like that and then on the side I always have two cups of salad usually the bagged kind because it's so much quicker you don't have to prep and this is what two cups looks like and then one of my favorite dressings a tablespoon of calorie wise Greek dressing this is the Greek feta and oregano from Kraft and that one is really tasty on bag salad. And it has feta in it, so it also like, I love feta cheese, and that would make me look forward to eating salad, because most people don't look forward to salad. And then the one thing that Sassy and I both knew we needed to do was keep a really tasty snack in that we would look forward to, that would also keep us pretty full. So we discovered popcorn. Air pop popcorn is so low in calories, but it's also full of fiber. And we would have four cups, which is this measuring cup here, four cups of Air Pop popcorn. And then we would melt two teaspoons, because that's a serving of light margarine. Base cell's our favorite, it's like the tastiest. And here's what a teaspoon looks like. So two of these onto the popcorn, and then put salt to taste, however much salt you wanted. And we would have either two low calorie cookies or one of these mini packages of cookies. The kids aisle is really good for portion control because they have really tasty, low calorie things that are already packaged, which is really good because Sassy and I also had emotional eating, so having them already portioned out was really helpful. And these are from Walmart. They're the mini rainbow chocolate chip cookies. You get a ton in a package, and um, they went really well with popcorn. So that really helped us look forward to what we were eating. It also kept us full because we chose the right foods that were tasty but also full of fiber and slow digesting and high vol low calorie high volume. So that was it. And we couldn't, I wanna say this, like the reason why we didn't count calories in the beginning is because with emotional eating, I couldn't handle numbers, it overwhelmed me too much. That's also why we chose the portion control because all I had to do was look at the serving sizes on the back of a package and measure it out with a scale or with measuring cups. Yeah, for us it was a simple, great way to start with portion. Yeah, and now I do calories, but that was I had to work through a lot to get there. So portion control worked for us in the beginning and it helped us go on to lose 130 pounds each and keep it off for seven years. And if you want to know exactly, like, if you like this meal plan and you want to know more, we have two weight loss guides, exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds. Links are down there. 
We also have a brand new guilt-free cookbook. Low calorie versions of all your favorite food, but you get the taste without the guilt and extra calories. And those three books took us almost 10 years to develop. Yep. And have the trial and tribulation and pitfalls pretty, figuring it out. Pretty much we made all the mistakes for you so that all you get is the results, the success. <laughs> So we did everything else. We did all the failing. <laughs> and, or you can watch these two videos for free to learn how to make weight loss easy and fun like Sassy and I did. And then you can dance around and lose fun and puke like this and draw stand in apples. That Sassy thing for silly, but I, I know it's really cool. I did not say one word about your horrible drawing today. <laughs> All right, the friends, and also if you want to be a magician and push subscribe so that you can turn that paper plaque and tin foil plaque um, of a passing a hundred thousand subscribers into a real one, that would be so cute. <laughs> I'm editing that out. He's, he's leaving it in. All right, the friends, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Love ya, have a beautiful day. Lawn mower out and lawn mower out now. Dance with your apple, cause sassy likes it. Have you ever actually seen a lawn mower? Cause that didn't look like a lawn mower. Watch this sound. You know like when you pull the cord on Oh, the that's what you're doing, okay. I've been doing that for three years, you sir, whatever, and he didn't know? That's how you jump start a lawn mower. That's our next video, lawn mower jump, <laughs> jump starting tutorial. Love you. See ya. <laughs> it's time to go before she gets more crazy. Bye guys. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.